Greetings and welcome back one and all to Robocraft! The patch has landed, we have Tank Dreads! So, the Solenopsis and Wicta Mark III may soon be becoming the Solenopsis and Wicta Mark IV. I am... Um, I'm unsure about that one though, because I actually do quite like you. Now, I'm going to quickly go over what has changed. We have Caterpillar Dreads. I've already gone ahead and unlocked these. Unfortunately, I did try to... Uh, I unlocked these on camera in the first recording I tried to do of this. Unfortunately, my burglar alarm went off, so I have had to uh, scrap that recording. As I've mentioned a few times, unfortunately, when it gets particularly cold here in Scotland, the electronics in my burglar alarm seem to uh, dis dislike the inclement weather and will uh, just sound the alarm randomly whenever it particularly feels like. So I have to go and warm it up a little bit and kick it and maybe say say rather than dapper things towards it because it interrupted my recording oh dear but uh, we also have tesla blades the very first ever melee weapon in this game also kind of unique with the other weapons as well is it is the only weapon that can be paired with another weapon um well i guess all weapons can be paired with it but you know you know what i mean uh were there any other changes no i think that is the only real change oh yes we also have tier one thrusters now i'm particularly happy about these now to quickly go over the caterpillar tracks goes from tier three to tier ten they steal like a tank now what i uh, assume that means and in fact uh, let's go to the cube depot since i've already unlocked them i can look at them there and i might get a little bit more information especially the price so uh, we're looking at in tier three 935 up to 32,000 a tier eight I'm not sure how much tier 10 will cost, but uh, they steer like a tank, so what I assume that means is if you try to turn to the left, the left tread will slow down or just outright stop, whilst the right tread continues going or might even speed up to, to basically pivot on that tank tread. Um, and likewise, if you turn to the right, it'll, it'll turn the other way. So if you've only got, got one of them, I don't think it's going to turn. You're going to need another way of steering the bot if you're trying to make a, a single uh, tread vehicle. I did have ideas to possibly try and make some sort of tank treaded bike. I don't think that's going to work, unfortunately. My, my hopes and dreams have been shattered. Now, they are extremely tough. If we have a look at the armor rating, 1,484 for a tier 3 wheel, essentially. If we have a look at the other tier 3 wheels, they have 407. So they're about four, uh, sorry, three times as armored. Um, well, a bit over three times as armored as their, their wheel equivalents. Let's have a look at the tier 7s. Um, these are 10,000. And what are the tier 7 wolf legs or walker legs? They're 8,000, so they're about 2,000 more again. The the walker legs, in terms of the component itself, they were the most hardy form of locomotion. The tank treads have, uh, or rather the caterpillar tanks, have completely replaced them as the, the toughest um, functional um, locomotion component. They have multiple attach points. You can see these little uh, cubes there on the pictures. There's two. One, oh, what, sorry, there's, there's probably symmetrical. So there's one on each side and one on the top for the tier 3 and tier 4. Two on the top and one on each side for the tier 5, 6. Two on the sides and the top for the tier 7 and tier 8. And I imagine there's probably going to be three on the sides and the top for the tier 9 and tier 10. These are hard points which you can use to attach. So blocks can attach to it, but also weapons, electroplates, those sorts of things. You can, you can build off the treads, if you like. And I really like the fact that... That, uh, that that well, I'm hoping that they're symmetrical. Let's you know what? Let's let's go ahead and uh, buy uh, at least two of these, and we'll quickly have a look. I mean, they're fairly cheap, and we'll actually see how they look when we place them in the world. Well, well really? Um, huh. I I I I can't help but notice. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> let's go to another. Let's go, let's go to Derpbot from the stream. Derpbot, I would like to know how these things attach. Could you enlighten me? Ah, good, okay. So, yes, they, they do look like they're symmetrical on the other side as well. So, you will actually be able to build in the middle of your bot if you really want to. And I quite, quite liked the uh, thought of that, if I'm perfectly honest. Here you go, Derpbot. You can have your wheel back. Right. Now, going back to the cube depot. They, um are very slow apparently i'm not really sure what the top speed is we will experiment with that in this episode but they are extremely heavy now if we look at just the tier 3 caterpillar track it is 75,000 kilograms the tier 3 wheel is 75 kilograms if we have a look at the tier 7s 
It is. Where are you? Two, sorry, 24,643 kilograms. If we look at the tier 7 walker leg, it is 12.5 kilograms. <laughs> as you can imagine. These are going to be very hard to get into the air. I think you may as well abandon any thoughts of making a, a useful flyer that has tank treads. You might be able to do it. You might be able to get them into the heavens. But the amount you'd have to invest to do that is probably going to make whatever's left of your bot pretty much useless to the rest of your team. But uh, with that said, let's go and have a look at the... Tesla Blades. Now, they're, they're actually fairly pricey, but these are high tier. These are tier 8. Now, you'll notice this, this beam there. This shows how many times that this weapon can attack before it's depleted. Now, these are melee weapons. They do enormous damage, about twice the damage as a tier equivalent rail cannon. But you get one shot with the blade. When this hits something, that blade is gone. In fact, you know what? We're going to buy one of them. Let's go and have a have a quick look at how this would uh, look on a vehicle. Dirtbot, you are getting all of the new toys today, aren't you? Let's uh, get rid of that. Well, maybe not. Can I get rid of that? And then get rid of that? Uh, no. Perhaps I can get rid of this. And get rid of that. There we go, Dirtbot. Oh my, that actually does look rather funky. Now, what I'm assuming is that this weapon will uh, lose this beam, but won't actually break the whole component. Now, the easiest way for us to test that is to just go straight into a battle. Now, to get into the battle, you have to hit E now. It's not BB or BP. It's E, P, P or EB or EN for boss battles. But uh, we'll jump in there and we'll have a quick look. Now, as I said, this can be combined with other weapons. So I've got my SMGs on here as well. It does massive damage, like I said. Two times rail cannon of an equivalent level. So, uh, ooh, that looked awesome just opened up. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and run someone. Gary, I'm sorry about this, Gary. I know. I know. I, I would hate myself, too. My God. Oh, wow. That was all. I was expecting to take a part of Gary off, not completely annihilate Gary utterly. That was glorious. That was utterly glorious. Oh, my Lord. Now, I'm not sure how the damage propagates with this, but I can only only imagine that uh, if it propagates the same way the damage does with everything else, that uh, Triforce Armor is going to be incredibly important for that bot. And uh, there we go, dear bot. Living up to your name, we're going to end this practice on you sliding across the floor on your face. Yes, let's go back to the mothership. Now... As we saw, the blade was destroyed, but not the actual component fitting. Now, that's important because uh, the blades can be healed. I mean, you could break the entire blade fitting off. I'm sorry about this. We've got a lot of friend invites, probably. I recently cleared out the list. Foolish of me. But uh, the component, this part, didn't break off. So I'm going to assume, I'm going to go out on a limb and say... I don't think that to repair this is going to be the same as repairing a completely destroyed component. Rather, I imagine that the nano beam is just going to have to repair this little this little part out here, these little two connectors which which form the arc of the beam. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to be fairly cheap to repair. So these are really quick to get built back. So if you just charge in and destroy something, you're not going to have to tangle up some of the... Uh, the medics on the team for ages while they repair a very heftily armored component because i believe when we uh placed this down that it had something like four thousand armor was that right yes so i mean that'll take a little bit of time uh let's have a look at this how much heal rate that would take this well actually only two seconds i suppose um it actually depends on how yeah healing per second well you know that might not actually be too bad even if that is the case then but at any rate i'm hoping that they they get repaired fairly quickly now they aren't particularly uh hardy they're not particularly heavy so you know that, that's that's uh, a plus in in my book now we have, of course, two new robots to go along with the new components. We have the uh, Tier 3 tracks, which uh, actually looks almost like a tractor in a way. It's a plasma bot, but these things, these have caught my eye. It's got blades. I have no idea if these are just cosmetic or they're functional. Can you bayonet people with these things? Because I cannot find them in the tech tree. 
I can see no mention of new components anywhere, but here we are. We've got these crazy little blades. Hmm. Is this the only way to get them? If so, are they just cosmetic or are they functional? Because if they're, they are a functional thing, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I wasn't too keen on the Overwolf having better legs. I assumed initially they were just replicas of the, the other tier 7 legs, but no, they are actually better legs for their tier. So, yeah. But at the same time, you'll notice it costs very little. In fact, everything costs very little. The prices have gone down dramatically. And one of the reasons for that, no more premium time is given to you. I think that is absolutely fantastic. I have said numerous times, I probably don't need to go over it, but uh, this uh, kind of divorcing premium bonus from things like buying bots, which I would like to do, especially for cosmetic components. I'm not so sure about the functional components, but, uh, you know, let, let's face it, I, I would. <laughs> if, I, if I bought this and it did come with bayonets, I wouldn't not use them. But uh, stop going in the middle of the bot, you silly camera. I am, I am really happy that the premium time has been uh, disconnected from buying bots. It's probably going to make me much more likely to do so in the future. Now, the other bot we've got is the T7 Tesla Dart. Now, this has a lot of these uh, Tesla blades. We've got a lot of hovers as well. But uh, it actually looks like a pretty interesting little medic bot, this one. I actually really like the look of that. That's got a lot of uses for its, uh, for its weapons. Now, one of the things I noticed is that, uh, firstly, these connect really nicely. I, I do quite like the way you can, you can create a circle there. But they're staggered, and I can only assume that that's done intentionally. The idea, I imagine, is that it would ram, and first, this blade would hit the opponent, and if that's all that it was requ required to destroy it because of the way damage propagates through the enemy, then this one won't hit it, so it will be preserved. I imagine if these were in alignment, then both of them would hit the bot, and even if one of them was going to destroy it originally, both of them would be deactivated. So uh, that's an interesting point. The one other thing about uh, Teslas as well is if they get shot, it will break the blade. So if someone SMGs your Tesla bot, chances are they'll hit some of the Tesla blades. As a result, you'll lose those blades. Now, the other thing which has uh, changed is the honey, uh, honey Dwarf, I think. Not Honey Dew Dwarf, but uh, you know what I mean. The Yogscast bot is no longer available. But you can actually get the uh, mask components in the cosmetic store. I believe that uh, Free Jam will be announcing how much money they raise for charity because, uh, as many of you are aware, I'm sure, the, all the proceeds for sales of the Honey Dew uh, Bot or the Honey Dwarf were going to charity. So uh, they'll be letting us know how much they managed to raise. It only, I'm, quite, I'm quite sad that I didn't manage to, to get one in time, but, uh, well, that's the way it goes sometimes. Now... There has been a bit of a change to Uber Tech Points. Not something I've really ever played with. I had a bunch of Uber Tech Points when the tech system changed from just one type of Tech Points to the tiered Tech Points, but that's the only time I've ever had them. Now, with Uber Tech, these will cost uh, apparently two extra Galaxy Cash per conversion. So uh, instead of nine Galaxy Cash per point, it is now 11 Galaxy Cash per point. And that is it for, for the, the new blocks. So we're going to go ahead and I, first and foremost, I'm going to take that back. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Dirtbot. But uh, oh, well, you know what, Dirtbot? I mean, you're kind of in the right tier, aren't you? Oh, Dirtbot. Am, am I going to be playing around with you? Ah, Dirtbot. Yes, all right. All right. All right. The, the gods have spoken. Dirtbot is going to be playing around in the low tiers with Crazy Blades. Uh, we are... Actually, I'm in the wrong place. There we are. That's why I couldn't find it. Now, if I put this on there, what, what tier does it put me into? It puts me into tier 5. Uh, I'm not entirely satisfied with that, I must be honest. But, one thing I am strongly considering doing... You know, you know it has to be done. This, this is the law. We need to play around with tank treads as well. Now, we are in tier 5. We will probably be in 5-6. This bot is not going to have the best armor for that, but, well, we're just going to have to live with that one. We'll go ahead and buy ourselves some tank treads. Uh, let's see, how much do they cost for the tier 4s? They're not actually that bad. Even the tier 5s are not that bad, so uh, let's go ahead and buy four of them. We'll see how this works out. Right, how big are these monsters? Oh, they are actually quite humongous. No? Are you Really? What? I I do not seem to be able to uh, affix them to the right 
spots. Uh, does it only want to be affixed to the side? Really? Because that is a little bit of a derp there, in my opinion. But then I guess that is uh, fitting of the derp bot. All right, derp bot. I, I'll, I'll play your game. Let's uh, cut back a little bit there. Move you down. I would like that on a lower level. Uh, right then, we are going to want to build out the limbs to uh, fix our tank treads. Or tracks, if you prefer. I prefer saying tank treads, which is why I keep saying tank treads. Uh, let's get you down there. Will this go on? No, no, absolutely not. Very well, very well. Let's uh, push this back a little bit. I'm a little bit uncertain about this. Maybe I'll be able to build up towards them. Quite a few people have said that the treads are a bit buggy. And unfortunately with this patch, as with any really big patch, there are going to be a lot of... Uh, <laughs> a lot of, of, of problems. And uh, lag is one of the big ones that I've, I've had lots of people warn me about recently. That uh, lag has become quite a, a concern. Right, let's get uh, two of these treads in there. Now, one thing with the enormous amount of protection that the treads offer... Oh, really? What's what's in the way? Ah, right, yes, I need to get rid of you. Uh, the enormous amount of protection the treads offer, really, can I not fit that for some reason? Why not? Oh, I see. Well, that's that's interesting. So they, they aren't exactly uh, the same. Right, I can definitely affix them there. So maybe I just need to build out in a way. But uh, we'll go with this for now. That is not going to work because it's too far forward. Uh, too far back. Let's try and place that back now. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. But as I was saying, because of how uh, enormously uh, robust these treads are, they could be used as a form of armor in a way. Uh, I could affix some sh sort of shielding there if I really wanted to. Not sure I do, though. Uh, let's see. We want tier 5 guns. If we had them, we do not. So we'll go with tier 6s, I suppose. We can have one there. And one over on this side. I could... Hmm. Let's see. What could, what could we do with uh, electroplates? If I affix that there, I cannot. I could possibly do this, though. Um, there is a part of me that, that, that likes that idea, but there's also a fairly large part of me that wants to check out the other types of shields we've got. So, uh, let's grab... No, 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 not the tier 8s. The tier 6s, please. Let's not go overboard. Right. You'll also be pleased to know that you can now remap all of your keys. This is going to be especially useful for people who uh, don't have QWERTY keyboards, I imagine. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't really fit there, but uh, maybe we can fit this over on the back instead. Get rid of that shield and see how that goes, no? Get rid of that wheel there. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm not, not a big fan. No. No, we're not going to go with that. We'll uh, go with the wheels at the back. And then we'll put the guns on the sides here. After all, it was worth it was worth having a quick look at how that would uh, all work. Now you could just build up little uh, turreted sections, but honestly, having the guns affixed to your tur uh, to your tank treads, there is something to be said about that. Simply because of the enormous amount of armor it has, it's going to be very hard for someone to shoot this block off. So uh, this makes a perfect platform for your weapons, in my humble opinion. Let's uh, move these back as well. Dirt bot, you're actually becoming far less derpy and far more uh, dangerous as I add all of these components. I, I hope you approve. All right, let's uh, get down here. Can I fit this in anywhere? Yes, I can, kind of. That'll do. Let's uh, get that all set up. There we go. We are in tier 6, though, with tier 4 armor. Ah, uh, not sure I approve of that. In fact, I'm fairly certain I don't. So let's go and get some regular tier 5 SMGs. Uh, where are you? Here we go. Let's buy about four of these, I think. There we are. Now, there are a bunch of other important changes that have come in with this patch as well. Firstly, as I've mentioned, the Enter Battle button is a little bit different now than it used to be. 
And that's worth noting, so everyone who's just frantically mashing B, trying to get into a battle and wondering why their game is bugged, it's not, don't worry. They've just changed the key. But you can probably uh, rebind that. I, would, I wouldn't be too surprised if that were, were possible. Okay, I quite like that little setup there. We could probably even fit one over there as well. No, no more of those cubes. Well, uh, damn. Perhaps a tier six, maybe. Would this be too much to ask for? Ha-ha! There we go. The dirt bot's actually uh, becoming quite quite de deadly, in my opinion. Um, as for these, I think we'll get rid of these little things at the back. And instead, we'll add some extra shielding around there. Let's see. Could I have this kind of shielding here? I could. It would limit that gun's uh, targeting. But at the same time... It also, I could put it there. Now that is significantly going to uh, mess with this bot's targeting. These weapons are not easily be going to be able to turn around. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I'm I'm pretty pretty uncertain. How about the tier fives? Let's see. How could I uh, fit you in? If I could at all, it doesn't look like I can anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I suppose I could have some sort of. Uh, Shielding, moving back, just to have it there, if for, uh, for nothing else. But that would put us into a high thing. So maybe I should just hold with this. It's not a particularly awesome bot, honestly. The dirt bot is well derpy, but uh, no, I'm 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 okay with this. Let, let's let's give it a little try. Let's let's see how it does. But first, just a little bit of cosmetic tweaking, I think. But as I was saying, um, premium, there are a load of changes. Premium has now been changed as well. It'll level you up twice as fast as normal. Now that, I'm really not certain of um, for, for numerous reasons. But the, the reason they've given is that because of the way that premium allows you to grind up your RP, many people were finding, well, they couldn't do anything with all of the RP and TP they had because their level was so low they couldn't fit the components. And I can appreciate that, that yeah, that would actually be remarkably frustrating. Um, so there is some logic in it, I suppose. I, I'm just not, not really uh, certain. It, 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 it's a little bit too much for me. It makes, it makes premium a little bit too powerful. Ooh, we're right on the edge, but that actually does give us a, a fair chunk of uh, damage potential. I'm really not not happy about these these back bits here, but uh, oh well. Let, let's take this out just for a quick practice and see how it goes. Um, lag reconciliation of other robot positions has been improved, so the enemy position is uh, closer to where they are on their client. Ironic that uh, the patch notes mention being better with lag, considering. It's, it's not better with lag, but it, I really like the detail on the, those tank treads. Oh, I like the detail there a lot. I really like that detail. Oh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. And I like the, the sound of it as well. Let's see about uh, shooting you. There's uh, some new uh, voiceover stuff as well, for obviously for, for spotting. There we are, Scout Hover. Let's see you. There we are. I'm glad I could find one. Right. Wheeled vehicles are now called cruisers, whereas uh, tank treads on a vehicle make it a tank. Seems uh, fairly, fairly obvious, that one. Physics has changed a lot. It is now possible to push things around. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. Let's give you a bit of a nudge. There we go. If you are heavier than the opponent, if you are very much heavier than the opponent, you're going to have no problem just pushing them around like a pinball ball. Uh, so, yeah, be aware of that. The people are going to be uh, bullying you with their much heavier classes of vehicles. Finally, the Solenopsis and Wichter can do something with all of that weight it's carrying around. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, but along with physics, a lot has changed with... Uh, thrusters um, in fact a lot of bots may work differently so uh, before you take out any type of flyer I strongly recommend you test it before leaving your before actually entering battle in addition to that RoboShield has finally been recognized by more virus uh, software so it's not going to be throwing up all of the false positives that it's doing all the time um, all RP and Tech point awards issued to clients are now validated on the server side, so it's going to be much harder to hack the game. 
and obviously Thrust is reintroduced to uh, Tier 1. But there are numerous other changes that will affect battles themselves, and I'll go over those in the first battle. We're going to take out the Dirt Bot and see what it can do. And welcome back. Unfortunately, it appears that I forgot to turn on chat again. Ah, damn it all. But we do have a healer. We have two healers. That is fantastic. Very, very good, because I'm going to need them to be around so I can uh, get my Tesla blade repaired. You will notice lag is, unfortunately, a, a bit of an issue now. That That is a huge problem. Uh, lots of people are complaining about it. But on the plus side... Uh, Free Jam have already said that they are going to be releasing a hotfix tomorrow that will address a lot of these problems So it may not be as big of an issue for very long. Oh, look at how well I can pivot with tank treads That's absolutely amazing. Right, let's uh, get you spotted and then uh, try to hit you a little bit with a couple of simple tap firing shots. You just want to take away some of your rudders, some of your wings maybe Get you down here with the uh, people on the ground. Never mind, I managed to kill you like that. Well, I'm actually impressed with myself. All right, let's get over here. Now, there are huge balance changes. One of the biggest ones is the fact that uh, the delta between tiers has been massively reduced. Um, by delta, what I mean is that uh, the damage a tier say four weapon does versus a tier five has been reduced there's not as much of a difference between the tier five and the tier four and this has been done for a couple of reasons really um primarily i think the uh reason is to reduce the kind of opness of uh rising the tier of your bot versus and then going sorry uh dropping the tier of your bot by uh taking say uh very low level armor or something but taking a very powerful gun into the lower tiers because it, it wasn't fun for anyone Let, let's be honest well it was hilarious fun for the person who was basically trolling everyone but uh i'm i'm pretty happy with the change but it has meant that a lot of people have uh, had their tiers messed up rather enormously let's try and take you out of this fight entirely shall we i don't want you up there let's see can the tank try to get up a, a wall Oh, they actually... Wow, they, they seem to be able to climb remarkably well. I approve. Hello. I really approve. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm liking these treads. They may be heavy, but my lord, they're good. Now, actually, I wish there was someone who could kill me, because there's another big change that's been brought in. But uh, back on the, the Delta, um, the robot ranking has been adjusted. The Delta for everything, weapons, armor, they've all been pulled down. Now, as a result... The armor and damage of, of uh, blocks has been proportionally reduced to kind of maintain the same sort of... If it took you, say, X many seconds to kill a bot of uh, tier 8 armor with your tier 8 weapons, or, or tier 9 weapons even, everything has been reduced so that it will still take roughly the same amount of time for you to do that. But on top of that, the robot ranking of components has been changed so that it would be really, really hard to get a plus three, or, or heaven forbid, a plus four item into a tier. So that, that is, for example, in tier five, taking a tier nine weapon into a tier five match. It's going to be much, much harder because the robot ranking is really going to mess with that. It's going to pull you up much more aggressively. Um, it will still allow tiering to occur, which, uh, you know one possibly even two levels above that will still still be a thing as as you've seen there i i've managed to bring in um components i, I brought in one tesla that was that was three levels high but only one and it did pull me up quite a lot compared to the rest of the bot now we uh, made a, a reasonable amount of rp really considering the tier that we were in now the other big change that i wanted to go over was the hero bonus so i think i'm going to jump into another battle just to try and get myself killed whilst my team are going to win so i can demonstrate this but uh, i will explain it in the battle so see you in a few moments all right then i have remembered to turn on chat hallelujah right there we go now whilst we look around bear in mind i am hoping to die in this one but i'm hoping that my team wins but uh, whilst we're looking for that conclusion i know it sounds really really bizarre but i do want to show off the the new edition of the hero bonus which is for people who died in a battle but whose team went on to victory so it'll kind of encourage uh, 
selfless acts of heroism, hence the, the, the name Hero Bonus. If you charge in with your super tanky bot and keep the enemy team busy long enough for your team to count the point, even if you die, you will be uh, recognized for, for your contribution. But uh, whilst we're getting there, I'll talk over some of the other changes, namely the physics changes. Now, I've brushed on that briefly already in that we can push people around. We can push our teammates around. We can push our enemies around. If you're heavier than them, you can push them better. Uh, you know what? I'm going to head down this way because this, this part of the, the, the arena is more for long-range engagements, really. And I really am not a long-range engagement sort of bot. I mean, I've got SMGs and all that, but uh, I want to beat people up with my Tesla blade. Uh, or rather, cut them with my Tesla blade. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of our team down there. That canyon would have been the best place to go. There is a flyer over yonder. Now, whilst I'm uh, going through this, we've got a couple people over there. Some of the other physics changes. Diminishing returns. Now, the thing with diminishing returns... They, you won't notice them uh, early on, and I mean, you know, that's pretty par for the course with diminishing returns. Hello! Oh, am I actually going to hit you at all? I really do hope I do. It, I didn't much, which is a little bit of a shame. All right, there we are. You're down. Well, you're not actually quite down, but uh, you're down enough, I think. But uh, the thing with diminishing returns, for example, say you added a thruster, then you added a second thruster. That second thruster almost certainly would give you twice as much thrust as the first thruster. However, by the time you're at, like, 12 thrusters, adding a 13 is not going to give you um, very much thrust at all. If, if you're, like, at 20s, if you've got 20 thrusters and you add a 21st, you're practically going to see no difference in thrust whatsoever. So bear that in mind with your bots. And in addition to that, a lot of the uh, robo ranking... I, I need to go and get myself killed. Please, out of the way, good sir. <laughs> I can't believe I just said I need to go and die. Now, uh, the thing with uh, a lot of the robo-ranking and the physics changes, because the physics changes are quite extensive. They've, th they've done a lot to try and make sure that uh, tank treads feel suitably enormous. Oh, please, come on, I need to die. The one time I want the enemy to kill me, and they're nowhere to be found. Enemy, I wish to die. Please. Oh, my lord, have you scared them all away? You fools! Is there one over by our base, possibly? Yes, there are. Quick, quick, quick. I'm going to let them know I am here. Let me just shoot off into the distance. I don't want to hit you, though. But uh, we also have wheels now as well. That's right. Come on. You can see me. I'm shooting. I'm not shooting you. So return fire on me, please. Come on, guys. Please. I actually need to stop you from winning. So, uh, there we go. I'll just uh, stop you for now. I'll, I'll be a bit of a pest so that my team can win. There we are. Let's uh, go for you again. In fact, you know what? I, I refuse to go down without a fight. I'll just, there are three of you. I'm sure I'm sure you'll finish me off. There we go. That's right. There we are. Fantastic. We're going to see the hero bonus now. But uh, the thing with the physics changes... I'm sorry I've been all over the place while I've talk, been talking about that. Is that uh, there are a lot of changes. And they've been put in primarily to make tank treads feel heavy. To, to make it very difficult to get them off the ground. So the diminishing returns on thrusters are in there. Obviously, also the, the flat-out weight of the tank treads are in there as well. But the, the physics changes are so wide-ranging. They, they've changed things like how wheels interact, the friction on blocks. You're going to see... Oh, I didn't show up the, the hero bonus. Well, that is kind of annoying. That... Ah, there we are. Thank goodness. But uh, the... Changes are so far-reaching, you really should test your bots. I, I, I know that's kind of a, a no-brainer anyway, but even if you, you're fairly certain it looks all right, test it first, because things have changed, especially with flyers. Because of the diminishing returns on thrusters, you really need to t test those a couple of times, and, and you, you're probably going to have to make some adjustments, especially if you use a lot of maneuvering thrusters on them. But here are, is the hero bonus change. Well done. Although you died before the end of the recent battle, your heroic efforts helped your team gain victory. So there's some extra RP, some extra TP, and that all comes out. Basically, the idea of the hero bonus is that it makes up the difference between your... Uh, what you would have won if you'd stayed alive, but had done nothing else. So you're not, it's not going to try and assume that you actually managed to spot a couple of people, or kill anyone else, or do any more damage. But 
it'll be as if from the moment you died, you were simply alive in the battle and didn't do anything. This screen will show up when the battle is ended, but not if you just leave the battle. What will happen in that case is the next battle you go into, you'll you'll play your, your battle as normal. And when you come out or, or when you go into practice and come out, if the, the battle in which you had the hero bonus has finished since then, then you'll get the hero screen. So uh, I, th I actually really think that is, that is a pretty good uh, addition. It's really making Robocraft into a team game. The addition of the mediguns, the addition of the hero bonus, it's really encouraging to people, uh, encouraging people to play more strategically and to play as a team player rather than just racing in to try and get the best uh, bonuses available uh, for them individually, in my opinion, anyway. That's certainly how I'm trying to play. But uh, I think that is it for this test run. I just really wanted to uh, show off the new components and play a couple of battles with it and uh, demonstrate some of the new changes. I am actually pretty interested in seeing how I can uh, make use of the fact I can now push people around. Yes. Yes, I'm looking at you, Solanopsis and Wichter. Ah, there are certain benefits to being rather weighty. And I think we're going to discover most of them the next time I take you out for a fight. Which may or may not be a stream, either later today or tomorrow, depending on when this video goes live. But that is it from me. I do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next, in which I'm almost certainly going to be playing around with tank treads. But uh, until then, and as always... Do take care.